Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video is going to be about how we built our latest board which incorporates hub motors. Before we start the video though, we'd love if you guys fill out this questionnaire we have in our description, it would be great for us. Before we start teaching you how to build this, we're gonna do a quick part rundown starting with the deck which is a double kicktail deck for added mobility. It is 38 inches long with nine ply. The ESC that we're gonna be using is a dual Flip Sky 6.6 VESC. This thing has 200 amps maximum continuous with 5.5 millimeter bullet connectors we've placed on it and an aluminum heat sink to dissipate heat rapidly. This thing is solid. Next, we have our motors, which are dual hub motors from Maytek. They are 90 millimeters in width. They are 1,000 watts each um, for each wheel and that combines to 2,000 watts total. These will be interesting to try out as we've never tried out hub motors in a DIY board. We got these from Miami Electric, which is also where we got our battery, which is a 12S three-piece stealth pack using Samsung 30Q cells. This pack does not come with a BMS, so you have to either use your own or buy one from them. This can be easily fixed by using the balance cables in the XT60 connector and plugging them into one of Miami Electric Board's other products, which is a 12S BMS box with 50 amps current. You just plug in the balance cables to the balance cables on the battery, and then the two XT60 connectors obviously fit together. This product is great because it comes with a power switch and a charge port, as well as an LCD screen. This is great, and it's a very, very great option for a battery pack. The trucks we are using are from Torque Boards or DOI Electric Skateboard and they are 180mm caliber style trucks. They're pretty standard and you can get them um, anywhere, it doesn't have to be from Torque Boards. And the wheels are 90mm flywheel clones also from Torque Boards and they're pretty standard flywheel. The first thing we did in building this was plugging in the motors to the VESC which was simply done by plugging the 5.5mm bullet connectors together. The next thing to do was to connect the VESC to the battery, however we couldn't because the BMS box had an XT60, whereas we put 5.5mm connectors on the VESC, so we ended up cutting off this connector and putting 5.5mm bullet connectors on instead. They're much more simple in my opinion to solder, which is why we did this. And this is a pretty simple process and there's plenty of other tutorials on YouTube on how to do it. Once the connectors were on, we were able to plug the two together. The next step was mounting the hub motors and the hub motor truck to the deck. So we did this using some deck hardware. We then loosely laid out the VESC, BMS, and battery on the deck to see how they would fit in respect to each other. Once this was done, we connected our remote, which is the Inertia Nano X remote. We did this by plugging the male-to-male -male servo connector, which is already in the VESC, and we plugged it into the Inertia Nano receiver. The next thing we did was to program the VESC. However, before we did this, we had to cut the plastic around the VESC as it was covering up the ports needed to plug in the VESC to the computer, as well as the sensor wire ports. We then programmed the VESC in FOC mode using sensor wires with the BLBC tool. The front checks were then mounted to the deck using similar deck hardware, and after this we placed the wheels on the trucks. The enclosure we are using comes from Amazon and it comes as a set of two for only $35. It seems great, it's really professional looking, and the first thing we did was drill holes in the side for the charge port and the power switch. We then put each in their respective holes so that it looked nice and flush on the edges of the enclosure. The next thing we did was to make a hole for the LCD percentage indicator, which as usual was a struggle for us as we do not have a working Dremel. We traced the outline of this LCD sized piece of paper and then used a box cutter to trace it 
and then used a bunch of drills and repeatedly made a square around it and then cut it out with a box cutter. Before fitting all the electronics in, we decided we needed to take the casing off of the BMS as it was much too thick to fit in the enclosure. The actual BMS itself is much thinner than the 3D printed case that ships from it from a Miami Electric Boards. As you can see here, it's almost twice as thick and we didn't really need that. We then applied Velcro to all of the components inside of the board. This way they would be mounted inside of the board when it's on the bottom of the deck. And after this, we proceeded to find the best way to fit all of the electronics inside of the enclosure, which proved to be very difficult as it is a very tight space in there. We used hot glue to mount the BMS on top of the battery pack as the enclosure was actually thick enough to house both and it wasn't long enough to house them all flat on their own. We then cut part of a mat to provide a seal between the deck and the enclosure that will hopefully dampen the rattling and provide some sort of weather seal. After everything was ready to be mounted to the deck for a final time, we reprogrammed the ESC just to confirm everything worked and we had our first successful test. To mount the enclosure to the deck, we simply drilled four holes in each corner of the enclosure all the way through the deck and then placed a bolt through the top of the deck and then put a nut on the bottom. The nuts were then tightened to the point of contact with the deck and then the board was done. This is what the finished product looked like. Thank you everyone for watching this video. If you made it this far, you should leave us a like and subscribe. We've recently hit 1,000 subscribers and that means a lot to us. And thank you to everyone who has supported us this far. If you enjoyed the video, leave us a like, subscribe to us. We've got a lot of great content heading your way. Also, don't forget to take the survey that's in our bio and enjoy the rest of this video as it has some writing footage.